of your grief. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For the Lord has comforted his people and will have mercy upon his afflicted. When thou pass through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walk through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kill upon thee. Now our Lord Jesus Christ himself, and God, even our Father, which has loved us and has given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace. Comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word and work. Blessed are they that mourn, but they shall be comforted. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercy and the God of all comfort, who comforted us in all our tribulations, and that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble. By the comfort where we ourselves a comfort of God, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the broken heart, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the openings of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the accepting years of the Lord and the day of fantasy of our God to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them the beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garments of praise for the spirit of heaven. I have given, pressed down, check it together, let it run over. God bless you.